So jump squats, one of the most dreaded but best at home exercises. It could be a burnout, whatever it is, these are absolutely fantastic. But the issue is I find so many people do it improperly. So halfway through, we'll give you your top three common mistakes. But anyways, no more wasting time. This is how you do it. Pretty much just like a regular squat. I don't recommend doing um, consistent jump squats if you haven't mastered getting some good depth, you know, proper positioning and everything. Make sure to watch our goblet squat video. First link in the description. But when it comes down to the jump squat, the best way to find your positioning is just pretty much go like this. You know, you'll find the best stance for you and then going from there, okay? So if I were to demonstrate, I personally like to have my hands out forward just to have a little bit of guidance here. You can have them here, whatever it is, but I find this to be the best. You're gonna go down and do a proper squat, jump up, and then repeat, okay? Just like this, I'll bust out a couple reps. I'm going nice and low, okay? And then bada boom, bada bing, okay? So those are pretty solid, but when it comes down to it, and I'll give you a couple of side angle ones just to make sure, you know, you guys see what's going on. I'm getting nice and low, I'm nice and controlled. You know, I'm not like trying to rush through the movement and I'm already feeling my quads. We just did some heavy squats, but a couple of common mistakes, number one, it's just not going low enough. I see far too often, someone goes to do a jump squat, they get ready, and they're doing these, okay? They're just going up and down. Like sure, you're getting a bit of a jump going, but at the same time, that's not gonna really be doing a whole lot. If you just wanna jump up and down, you can do that, but once again, getting that proper depth is gonna be really targeting the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and it's amazing, okay? Number two is just knee cave, and I find this happens a lot within a regular squat. If someone goes to do it, they jump up, and then their knees start to cave, okay? So once again, making sure that you're pushing your feet into the ground on the landing, and you're pushing your knees outwards. Not like crazy, but just make sure that you're turned outwards, and avoid doing this little knee caving thing like this. This is what I see happening a lot. Woo! And last but not least, landing way too hard, okay? This exercise, you don't want to be beating up your feet. You don't want to not be able to walk the next day. So make sure, be, you, you barely hear me landing, right? When I do these, I'm nice and light on my feet. I'm good to go. A lot of times I hear people do this. Okay, and there's a big difference. You can hear that a lot more, right? So that's pretty much it. A to Z in a nutshell. These are great to do. We like to program, you know, 100 at the end of the workout, especially for at home workouts. But if you are looking, to get the best coaching in the game. First link in the description, we will take care of you through training, through nutrition, and through lifestyle. Second link in the description, our full 68 page how to do proper exercises just like this one, completely free, so get yours now. We'll see you later, peace.